Ashley and I are at the mall together. We, I haven't been to the mall in at least a year, but she wants to come in here and see what dress clothes they have. So we park down here at Dillard's. This is the best place to park because it's not busy. We're in an altered state right now. I'll probably have to mute the sound because there's a radio on. But Ashley found some great dresses in Dillard's. They had some sales and she got some beautiful dresses. Yeah, I got three name, name brand dresses for like $70, which yeah. sounds like a lot, but they were like 15, 20 bucks a piece. Uh, the dresses had been like hundreds of dollars a piece though. So they were really nice. Every place has all their summer stuff out right now. No. Well, and a lot of the tops are crop tops. And I don't like that. JC Penny and Ashley Ashley's looking for a blazer. She wants something like this, but she would like it in a color. Like they have pink. a gray one. I know you're looking for a color. I want pink. Pink. She wants pink. I'm but for yellow. good luck. We're gonna walk all over JC Penny though. Okay, they had a they had several pink ones at Dillard's, but they were at not what I want. They were very, very, very okay, expensive. I did not want. Yes, them. they were very, very expensive. So Dillard's has such a great selection of clothes. It's amazing. I don't think you've ever shopped for grown up clothes there. No, I've only I shopped for, for you. No, you. She found a pink blazer, but she hasn't tried it on yet. She's gonna try it on right now. She also, she saw this blue one, so we walked over here. Um, but she's gonna try this on and see if it fits. It's the only one that I see around here. And it's a size eight, but I have broad shoulders. That's cute. That is cute. Very, very cute, Ashley. This one here, it's a frame. <laughs> oh. Uh, uh, there's a fitting room over there. That's a lot of work. That, that's a very, very cute. I'll just have to trust you. We'll look, we'll no, look. we can look in a mirror. We can find a mirror picture. somewhere. Okay, Ashley found all the jackets. Yes, that's the jacket right that's there. Actually, mom. Yes. I don't think it's on sale. I think that is going to be the price. And so I think I'm not going to put. Oh no, forty percent off. If it's regular seventy four, it's forty two. That's not bad for a jacket. No, it's not. For a jacket that you're, if you're gonna wear it a lot, or do you like that dark pink one? I really don't like either one. Oh uh, well, then don't get it if you don't really I'm like it. Like a pastel pink, like we saw at Dillard. Okay. I don't, I don't forty two dollars like it. Okay. Oh, what? Acid. Oh, that's cute, and it has little. This is Sephora and J.C. Penney, and Ashley said she needed some more uh, products face products. I just and, buy the same thing every And she likes Drunk Elephant. It's my favorite. And I do too. That's the um, the sunscreen that I buy is the Drunk Elephant. And I really, no. No, because you just got me some at Christmas. That's new. And I love it. Fermented spray. This is new. Uh, you spray it on your face. And then you put more stuff on top of it. Huh. It's like a setting spray? No, it's like skincare. I don't know. I really like that. I wanted to see this. How you open it? It says for your safety testers are for display only. You have to ask for assistance. I'm not good at reading directions. Well, I wouldn't have seen that. I mean. I wonder how much that is. Oh, 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 it says right here. Oh, I was gonna say there's somebody right there. Me? Probably, yeah. Is there stuff in there that you would use? Yeah. How much is it? Like 75? 100. Oh, yeah. That's how much that set was that I got you for, for Christmas. $159. Yeah. 
As long as you use it, it's not a waste of money. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh I'm going to get When do you put that on at night? I'm not good at doing skincare in the morning. I don't want to do it. But... And then they have a little one of this. I want a little one. They're supposed to have a little one. Our local mall now has a Cinnabon and it is open. So if we want Cinnabon, we can get it right there. Yay! This, that dress is adorable. I would never in all my days wear it. But it's very, very cute. Ooh, and there's the Cinnabon. Ooh, look. They have Cinna Sweeties. Those look awesome. They have a cup of frosting. Oh, yes. They look good, don't they? You can literally buy a cup of frosting for Cinna Cup. really not good at these escalators, am I? You step in the middle. That's the problem. Okay, we came in Macy's and they don't have anything. Com that compared to Dillard's, they hardly have anything. They just don't have a lot of clothes to choose from or anything. Okay, I complained about Macy's not having anything and then we saw a section of blazers. These are 40% off. There's a mirror right behind you. And she found this, and it, you know what? It's short, and you're a short person, so it looks good on you. It looks good on you. You don't like it? It's only $15. I'm very tall. And these are 70 to 80% off. Yeah, so we're gonna keep looking. I like the green the best. We'll try a green on. How much are the green, though? Because that red one's only $15. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, I was at this tag oh. <laughs> she's looking at the tag she had on. A lot more. How much? 83. But it says take an additional 30% off, doesn't it? Yeah. Take an extra 30. So take an extra 30 off of that. If we like it, we can Yeah. See, so you off. don't want that one. No, I do. Oh, you do? $15. Right. Yeah, that's a different outfit. Yeah, okay, you protect this with your life. Okay. From all these people that are around <laughs> us, I'm gonna, I'm gonna protect it. Somebody could run. Somebody could run. Yep. They could have seen you. I like the inside of that too. That's Tommy uh, Hilfiger. Ooh. It looks sporty. I like that a little bit. It's sporty. Yeah, the other one's dressy and that's sporty. The mall is closed now, and Ashley wanted to go to the Great American Cookie Company. Ashley's very sad. They're going to be closed. Yeah. <laughs> we actually did buy that red blazer in, in Macy's. Yeah, for $15. Bucks. Um, but yeah, all these stores are closed. So the Apple store used to be over there, and they've moved to a place to called, place. yeah, to a place called Fritz Farm. So, it's funny seeing all these places closed. And I kept smelling coffee when we were in Macy's. And I, I told Ashley, I said, I smell coffee. And she said, um, or she didn't say anything. We got to the back and it's because they have a Starbucks in Macy's. Who would know? So, box lunch, we did a video of box lunch when they first opened. And they have a lot of cute, cute stuff. We came by Victoria's Secret earlier and there was a line outside. Ashley, yeah, tell them what happened to you. She picked out. So I went in and there's no signage or anything. And it says, uh, they'll do a fitting and I needed a fitting because I haven't bought a real bra in a long time. So I, I did a fitting which was verbal. They like tell you how to measure yourself. It was very strange. Um, and so then I picked out like six bras in this thing in this shopping basket because I didn't know what style I would like and she was handing me all these so I thought okay. I went to try them on the fitting room's closed. 
they just wanted me to buy them on blind faith that they fit. Yeah, they, and Ashley asked her, you, uh, she said, I can't try these on. She said, I don't want them if I can't try them on. And the girl went. <sighs> yeah, she got aggravated. Like, yeah, full of bras and I get that that's irritating. But at the same time, like they should have a sign up that says, our fitting rooms are closed. Right. This place here on the corner used to be a L'Occitane and they've closed it. It was, it was very expensive. I'm sorry, this place is expensive. Uh, yeah. An altered state. We went in there earlier. I showed you that. They're expensive. This one's called a gape, which I had not seen before. And buckle. There, there are salespeople at Pushy. In buckle? Yes. Pushy, pushy, pushy. And here's a Janie and Jack and a Vera Bradley. Should we go on? Uh, I think there's another one on up, okay. and it'll be closer to the car. But Dillard's doesn't have any doors. Yeah, we might be able to go through Dillard's. I don't know. I don't think I've ever, except when I was a kid, because let me tell you how it was like when I was a kid. There used to be movie theaters in the mall. Oh. So at the very end of the, the mall, yeah, at the very end of the mall, there was a movie theater. So when you got out of the movie theater, everything was closed. And then the, you were the last ones out because the movie might not get out until midnight. Is that when air conditioning was also first invented? <laughs> and that's why everybody went to the movies because that's where the air conditioning was. You're hilarious. No, but that's the truth. Your papa would remember that, believe it or not. When I was growing up, you were allowed to smoke in the theater. I remember in Arby's, there used to be a smoking section. A smoking section, yes. A room of yeah. deaths. Now, if we can't go down to Dillard's next to that boardwalk treat, so there's a hallway and, and there's a door. To get to our car if we went out. Oh, that's fine. I don't care. Cut through. Yeah, I don't mind at all. We didn't go down this wing at all next to the Disney store. There's a Aeropostle. Uh, you can fit into those clothes. There's a uh, the Fye, but it's so expensive. I want a pretzel. Yeah. Oh my cookies. So yeah, Dillard's was closed anyway. They do have doors too. Did you know that? No. Where did they come? We from? were in there earlier. They look like sliding glass doors. Yeah, I'm just kind of shook about that. Talbots. Let me dig out my keys for you. We used to have a Talbots outlet, which they was really nice. Out. Yes, they do. It's probably expensive, yeah. And there's the Pi 5. I really thought the doors weren't open. So I'll show you what Ashley got today. She got the Drunk Elephant uh, Retinol Cream, and then she got the uh, some other kind of cream. Whatever kind of cream this is, we don't know. It was $53 for those two little bitty things. Um, at Airy, she got this free bag, which um, she does not like it at all, but she bought a bathing suit. She bought the pants in there, and then she ordered the top online because you get free shipping and oh, that was the bottoms the bottoms that was forty dollars for a bathing suit but honestly that is not bad at all for a bathing suit um this is the oh yeah they'll last a long time this is the blazer she got in macy's it was 1586 that is with tax and it had been it's casper it had been let's see uh, you can't even tell because they covered it up. But I mean, she, oh, sorry, originally $99 and she paid 15 bucks for that. Now, I want to show you these dresses she got at Dillard's because they're absolutely adorable and they were such a great price. Um, they were originally yes, this one was, um, I don't know if it's, uh, yes. It was originally $90 and she paid $31.49. Yeah. Well, oh, 50% off that. I'm sorry. It was originally $90 and she paid 
and 70 cents for that. Then um, she got this one. It was originally $90 and she paid $15.58 for that. And it is just this a... One was the most, was the most expensive. This is a, a... It has a black belt, but she's not... She, it actually looks better without the belt on Ashley, so she's not going to wear the belt. This is our favorite one. This is our favorite one. We we both refer to this as the Wednesday Adams dress. It is absolutely adorable on Ashley. Um, it was originally a hundred and eight dollars, and she got it for thirty eight ninety. Is how much it was. It was thirty eight ninety, but it was a hundred and eight dollar dress, and, and so cute. it is adorable. It is truly, truly an adorable dress. Um, and that white, it just, it's nice. And it looks like it would be very, very comfortable. The, com uh, the material I mean, feels... I just have to suck in the whole time I wear it. But, uh... Oh, it's nice, though. <laughs> Kevin's making me some popcorn for dinner. Off. And on the top, you can see all that pepper. Um, I like to put lots of pepper in my popcorn, just like that, um, what is that, Skinny Pop? Is it Skinny Pop popcorn that's the black pepper? Mm. I'm not sure if it's skinny pop or not, uh, but it's it's so delicious. Ashley is hosting us for at her place for Easter this year, so I wanted to bring her a couple of little Easter gifts. She loves the Pioneer Woman, and so and she loves these reusable bags. But I don't think she owns any Pioneer Woman reusable shopping bags, so she uses these for school and everything. Like she, if she has a bunch of books to take in, whatever um, school supplies. She'll put them in these bags and carry them in. So I bought her two of these and I found them. They were hanging up in the frozen section of Walmart. They were like on an end cap. So I bought her those. And then I bought her this. She loves Sour Patch Kids. It's her, like her favorite brand. So I bought her this blue raspberry flavored lip balm. And then I had a conversation with her, and I said, is there anything, and I, I didn't have anything in mind, honestly, at all when I asked her this. Um, I was just asking her in general, just as a conversation. I said, is there anything that you had in your childhood that you got rid of that you wish you hadn't have gotten rid of? And she mentioned these sky dancers so um she used to own these she said i had them on a video and she said i wish i hadn't gotten rid of them and so i went on amazon and i bought volume one and volume two uh volume one is flights of fancy volume two is the sky's the limit and uh so uh, she can uh, have those back in her collection again. So I was glad I asked her that question. And then um, this sums up Ashley perfectly. I ordered this for her. My head says go to the gym. My heart says eat more Sour Patch Kids. So she doesn't drink coffee, uh, but I figured she could put this, uh, she could put this on her desk with pencils in it. She could put it in her bathroom and put makeup brushes in it. She could just display it on a bookshelf, whatever she wants to do with it. I thought that was a perfect, uh, perfect little thing for Ashley. Ashley invited us to her place for Easter. So we made, we brought the turkey and dressing and she made the rest. So we brought juice, um, and, and dressing, and then the turkey, and Ashley made mashed potatoes, and she made baked macaroni and cheese, and rolls, and, cheese. and another, and then a pan for Ashley, and a pan for Ashley later. So this is my plate. You all know I don't eat mashed potatoes, <laughs> uh, but Ashley's macaroni and cheese, Ashley uses different macaroni noodles than I do. She uses like elbow macaroni, and I think she used a different uh, recipe. So this will be the first time we're trying her recipe. Ashley uh, opened her gifts that I gave her that I showed you just a while ago, and she loves the cup. She thought that was her all over. Um, dinner was delicious, and now she's got me two gifts here, and she bought these for me for Christmas, but she wants me to open them now. So And she'll get something else for Christmas. Oh my, do you know that I was just looking at these? 
I am not even kidding you. I swear, eBay keeps sending me notifications to look at these books again because I've been looking at, oh my gosh. These are, oh my gosh. These are Sweet Valley Twins books. Um, They're I, vintage. The, yes, these are vintage covers. Oh my gosh. There's, oh, and I've never seen a big one like this. Oh, this is the first one. I think it's like one through 28. Oh my gosh. Or maybe it's a mixed set. I looked through so many sets, I don't remember which one I ended up Three, buying. I'm sorry. Four, five, six, and then it jumps to 20. Oh, here's seven, eight. I think it's one through 28. Wow. Oh, and I, I bet you I haven't read a lot of these. Okay, now open the other box. That one has not been opened yet, so it it might not even be what's supposed to be in there, but I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, we don't know. Uh, Kevin, you, I'm gonna get you to open this. It is, but That's I'm, how they shipped it. They literally shipped it in a light bulb box. It would be easier to... Slice it. Slice it, yeah. Right here on top. I slice it and leave it and pull up quick to retrieve This it. is so cool. And I will read these. I've never seen a big one like that either. No. Well, after you open this, I'll say. Have you ever read these? Any of these? You made me read them. You, you collected like them at the bookseller, and, and you, you forced like me to read them. Because you always liked Junie B. Jones, but then when you got older, what were you reading when you got older? Pick Different stuff. Uh, dealing with dragons, stuff like that. V.C. Andrews. V.C. Andrews. Philippa yeah. Gregory. These were a little too elementary for me. They what? Yeah. But I mean, I read them. I don't remember any of them but the teacher one. Oh, this is not more, more books. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you sure it's not more books? Huh. We might have to. <sighs> Wouldn't that be really funny if they sent me like something totally random? Yeah. It is more books. Oh, okay. Oh, yay! This, yay. I panicked. Oh, yay! Oh, my God. I mean, I literally just, my heart went into my throat. Oh, my. I was like, this woman sent me light bulbs. I'm going to be very upset. these are the ones that I had when I was a teenager. as the Sweet Valley High books. The Sweet Valley Twins, as far as I know, that came on afterwards. These were the original. Them. And I they look like seventy pictures. I can't believe you bought these. I was you don't even know, but I was literally just looking at these. Thinking I'm gonna buy those and Kevin's gonna laugh at me and make fun of me. And but I'm going to read them. Oh my goodness. Yes, I had this one playing for keeps. <laughs> I love that. Aren't you glad I gave them to her now so she didn't buy them herself? I would have been very upset. I truly have been working out on eBay. She didn't tell me she was working out. These, and there's an author actually that she writes kids books, but she writes adult books too. Uh, is it Judy Bloom? Yes. I've never read any of her adult books, and I would like to. And I thought, okay, which one do I get? Uh, I don't know. Which Judy Bloom book do I get? I think she got her I have a bunch of Judy Bloom books. Oh, I hope that none of them are the adult ones. <laughs> In my classroom, I've never looked. I don't, I've never read Actually, those books. Actually, this is awesome. I mean, I have these. And I had a desk. Your papa made me a desk. Um, it, it was a very tall desk. And it was a, like raw wood. He didn't sand any of it. But I had all these lined up on the desk in my bedroom. I love these. Thank you. We played two block. No, we played one round of Blockus over there, and Ashley won, of course. And now we're gonna play Bargain. Is it's Bargain Hunter? And it was my game back in the '80s, and um, Ashley loves this game, and I do too. If you've ever played like Mall Madness, this game is a lot like Mall Madness, which it's is significantly a longer. Yes, it's it's it's, it's very very it's fun. It's like monopoly long. Yeah, but yeah, I'll I think it's more love fun it. It's less math. I do too. We finished Bargain Hunter. Kevin had three more things he had to get. 
I, I was in debt. I owed $300 yeah, and Ashley won. Ashley has a headache, so she has something around her neck. Ashley won. I just like to look fancy. Yeah, that's her. Can you put that in the microwave, though, if you want to heat it up? Is that yeah. one of those things? Because I remember our next door neighbor had one that was like lavender scented when this you put it in the That does, too. Yeah, you can smell it. Okay. I can smell it right now. For dessert, Ashley bought us a cake from our favorite bake shop. This is Mondelli's Bake Shop. It's in Lexington. And this is like a, a white cake with buttercream icing. And then she has ice cream too. As Ashley's place and we had a really good time uh, we enjoyed playing games and I, I've enjoyed what we've done the past couple times well I think every time we've been we've pretty much played different games every time we've been there we have played rummy bananagrams uh, we've played block us now and uh, the game of life and bargain hunter so next time we'll try to play something different maybe uh, if we want something shorter we could play like uh payday or clue or something like that and if we wanted something longer we could uh, pick out monopoly or something you know uh, so it just depends on uh, how long we're going to be there but we had a good time it was a really nice um easter and i hope you all had a good easter too I wanted to show you the covers of the books that Ashley got me because these are vintage. They're all around uh, from about 1986. They're the late 80s. Uh, so I'm, I'm not going to talk or anything and they're not in any order, but I just figured uh, that you would appreciate some of these covers. books um, are not here. I don't have them all, but Ashley told me to write down the numbers of the ones that I do have, and I guess she'll be on the lookout to see if she can get more. Um, she did not buy these on eBay. She said that she has actually even seen these on Etsy. I don't remember what the name of the site was that she bought them off of, but it was not eBay. Um, but yeah, some people on Etsy even have these vintage covers, and those are the ones that I really like. Kevin said I can choose which Metal Earth he puts together next. Except so, the Terminator. Except for the Terminator. He doesn't want to do that because that's the hardest one you have, right? Probably, yeah. Okay, so he has this IG-11, Razorcrest, Mandalorian, and I know you have the child in here somewhere, and he's from the Mandalorian. Let's see. Uh, there's the child. Okay, so all of these, I think Rebecca sent you that one. These are all from the Mandalorian. And then you have a tractor, the Capitol, which is, I love that. I love the buildings. Uh, you have the Big Apple Tour Bus, which we bought that one at Jungle Gems, mm -hmm. didn't we? Um, Darth Vader, I bet that one's hard, too. Yeah, it's it's a little hard. And then you have Willy. You know, it's funny. They're saying Willy's Overland. Um those cars that I like from the movies, the Hollywood, whatever they're called, they had one from MASH, and it was called Willie's something. Hmm. So is there a character that's going to be on MASH called no. Willie? No, Cause we that's haven't been what they call a Jeep. Because we haven't been introduced to a Willie. No, um, it, that's got a star on it. So too. there's the Terminator. That's the one you don't want to do. What, what do you mean it has a star on it? The we, front of that car. It has a military oh, okay. star on the front. So which one do I want you to do? Uh -huh. This is so hard. Let's do this one from Rebecca. <laughs> you don't mind? No. no okay. No. Okay. So that's what you're going to be seeing. Let's see how hard it is. Oh, this is a bad. Medium. No, that's a Medium. Bad. So you might be able to do two. The hardest one's going to be the face. <laughs> Let's see which one is the hard out of all the Mandalorians. 
Oh, they're all about the same. This one, yeah, this one, and these two are the same, yeah. and they're both. So this one would be the next one. Easiest one. Yeah, the next easiest one. And then those two are gonna be hard. But yeah, do the do the child first. So this is the child. And what was his name? Grogu or something, something or like something like that. Um, we haven't watched it in a little while. But uh, Becky sent this to Kevin, and I love his little ears. And Kevin said this is the only Metal Earth kit that he's ever had that includes a piece of fabric. And the fabric is literally, you put it in after, and it's just like a... Um, what did you say? It's like a fill, it looks like a blanket, but it fills in the back space. Right, so that it's not just empty behind him. You just, it's just a little piece of cloth that you put behind him. So, what did you think about it? Was it's it was pretty cool. The hard parts were getting the the body to fit in right, but then getting all these curves in there correctly. Um, that getting things curved things are hard. So, but I think it's adorable, don't yeah, you? Yeah, it came together pretty. It's good. very cute. I wanted to show you over here at Rallies they have put plastic wrap it like legit plastic wrap over these tables so that you won't stay you won't sit down and eat at them so you have to just go through the drive through rallies and just eat in your car i mean most people eat in their car anyway but uh yeah that will definitely it looks like they have one table open yeah so yeah like every other table or something like that so i just thought that was interesting i hadn't seen that yet we are at Kroger, and this is like a bigger Kroger in Lexington, but they have these trays out. This is really nice with just Kentucky on it, uh, but these are out for the Derby, and they actually have Derby dishes. So this is a spoon rest, and it says Kentucky Derby, and this has the, um, what is that Kevin called? The jockey's jacket, uh, and then you have, it says run for the roses on this plate. Uh, but they have flags. They have like Christmas ornaments that you could get. Uh, they have plates. Down and Derby. They have some really, really cute things. Jockeys and juleps. Mint juleps. Uh, down and Derby. Yeah, so I wanted to show those to you because I've never seen those before. And these are all flags in here. And then they have a little ornament right there too. So those are those are really really cute. Kevin and I found this little um, cheat, and I thought it was neat. Now I told Ashley, and I don't think Ashley could I mean, she could have cared less about this, but I'm gonna pass this along to you all because I think it's interesting. Um, Ashley doesn't use a lot of cash or change, and I think that's why she didn't care. Um, but for me, I do use cash and change, and so I thought it was cool. I had We were checking out at Walmart, and I had a bunch of change in my change purse. And so we, we used the self-check. So I, we put all the change in there, and then it said like, I thought I had counted it out exactly, but it said I was a quarter short. So... I told Kevin, I said, well, I can't use all this change then. I'll have to give you dollars. So I said, hit the return. So he hit the return so that it would give us all that change back that we had just put in. He gave us back dollars. And I, Kevin said, how great is that? That you, that's a great way of getting rid of your change. You could, and you don't even have to use your cash if you don't want to. So you could put $10 worth of change in there, hit, what was that I said? Hit retire or whatever it is. Cancel. Yeah, cancel transaction. Hit cancel. It'll give you a $10 bill back or whatever you put in there in cash. And then you don't even have to use that cash. You could then pay with a debit card. So you could, turn, that's a free way, because I know some people pay to use those coin machines. Now, I would not do that. I, I am too cheap for that. I have never thought it was right for those machines. And I know that's a company and they're making money and whatever, but I've just never thought, I've never been willing to do that. If I have, if I have saved up change, I want every penny of that change. 
and I'm not going to give it to some company just for counting it out for me and, you know, giving me bills for it. So, I will use it in those uh, self-checks. I will definitely use it. But I thought, if you all don't know that you could do that, I just thought that was a good uh, a good cheat. At least at our shop. Yes, at our Walmart, that's how it worked. Um, we've noticed a huge difference in the self-check at Kroger and the self-check at Walmart. The Now, Kroger is a nicer store all around it is a nicer store however walmart has better self checks kroger is not really user -friendly. user friendly no i think anybody can use them of course and they're not hard to use but it's they don't make it easy for you if you like if you have coupons and stuff like that walmart if you have a coupon you scan your coupon yourself you put it in the machine and you're you're done at Kroger, if you use a coupon, somebody has to come over there. Somebody has to come over there and somebody has to uh, put that coupon in. It's like they have to, to see it with their own eyes to, to make sure that you're not trying to just slip a plain piece of paper in there. And then just now we were in Kroger and Kevin did a price check on something and he didn't like the price of it so he wanted to remove it well in order to you can hit void and you can hit you can highlight the item and you can void the item off but then you have to get the attendant to come over there and we waited and waited and waited for an attendant and i told kevin i said if you hadn't put your card in this machine we could have just gone to another machine because i was tired of waiting on somebody Kevin said, I haven't put my card in. So that's exactly what we did. We moved to a different machine and then finally somebody showed up. Which was also by the, why the price wasn't right because I had to put the card in. Right. Now, Lord exactly. forbid you get the savings without the card. You have to use your card. I know. Remember the olden days when but everything was on sale, it was on sale for everybody. Whether you had a card or not, you could get things on sale. Believe it or not, boys and girls, that's the way it used to be. When <laughs> things went on sale, you didn't have to have a savings card, a Kroger card. You didn't have to have any kind of card. You just got that item on sale. So, uh, so anyway, the attendant finally showed up. And he told us, he said, well, that's why it didn't pop up with the sale price. Because it was something that was supposed to be on sale, and it didn't ring up on sale. He said, it won't ring up on sale unless you put your card in. So, anyway, it ended up, we ended up buying the item anyway. But I wasn't, Kevin was literally finished ringing up all of our groceries by the time he got over there. And so, it's like, I just didn't want to wait. So, anyway, just a couple things that... Um, I thought would interest you. Went to the P.O. box today and I want to show you this is so cute. So, so cute. I love this Easter card. It is from Martin, Esther, and Vicious. <laughs> Which I love the name Vicious. I think that is a, a terrific name. Um, and then we opened um, a box. This is, I believe, I know who this is from. I'm going to check with him and make sure these came from him before I uh, say. But this is Tim Horton's Chicken and Rice. This is Chicken Noodle. And this is Homestyle Chili. So, Kevin will be doing a review of each one of these on his lunchtime review channel because this is the kind of thing, this is perfect for lunchtime review and we cannot get these right here, so that'll be perfect. And then, hey Kevin, will you go get your hedgehog for me out of the den? Um, when, when we had that visit last week with Dapper Dan, with Dan and Connie, and we went out, if you watched the last week's uh, vlog, we went to Malone's. Well, they gave us a gift bag, and for some reason, I just did not even think. I showed that they gave Ashley a mug, and I had a picture in the video of Ashley holding that mug. It said, world's best teacher. But they also gave Kevin <laughs> this little hedgehog, because Kevin loves hedgehogs and so I have it sitting and I just never thought to show it to you. I have it sitting out in the den on the shelf 
uh, because it's so cute. It says Primitives by Kathy, if you're wondering where it came from. And then they also gave us a, gosh, a huge box uh, baked by Melissa. Um, I'm going to turn the camera around for a minute. Baked by Melissa, uh, the little mini cupcakes. And they gave us... Um, some Reese's Cups. They gave us a, the big uh, packs of Reese's Cups, the king size with four in each. They gave Kevin the regular uh, milk chocolate and peanut butter, and they gave me the white chocolate and peanut butter, which I ate. I told them I ate the entire thing um, in one sitting. And they gave Kevin a Pepsi, and they gave me a Coke Zero, which I took the Coke Zero. I think I took it the next day to Ashley's. Ashley was making us like a steak dinner. I believe it was the next day and anyway or the next day after that but anyway that's when I had my Coke Zero was during that dinner but they said they found they said we found your gift in the bottom of our luggage and we forgot to give it to you and I said you gave us a ton of stuff I said you already gave me the bake by Melissa I thought that was for me and he said no the bake by Melissa was for the channel the cup was for Ashley the hedgehog was for Kevin and he said so I wanted to, you to have something for you so this bag arrived today and this is from Levain Bakery and I will just tell you right now that we have received cookies from a lot of places now. Uh, they've been gifted from, from you all. Thank you from uh, people watching the channel. All kinds of different people. Um, but Levain has been um, probably our favorite. Uh, they're just very, very top-notch uh, cookies but so thank you very much to dan and connie this is so cute i love it and kevin still loves his hedgehog and like i said i put it on the shelf out in the den uh that way we get to look at it every day i think it's it's probably uh for a little uh plant uh plant i think they call them like succulents or something a succulent but um uh, we just like to to look at it Whenever I find interesting YouTube channels, I want to pass them along to you all because it's not often that I come across something that I actually want to pass along. So, for some reason, I got a recommendation for this Only Human channel. So, when you go to the Only Human channel, I'll show you the kinds of videos they have. These are um, pretty much UK-based shows, but they're all very interesting. Um, like weight loss and if you recognize her her name is uh, Kim I can't think of her last name right now but she was on um, there was a cleaning show that was really really famous they did it in the UK they also did it here in America she was also I think on like a celebrity big brother um, Kim something anyway um, they have a lot of um, neat shows on here and you get to watch the entire show so like 46 minute show if it's only a half an hour show you get to see that whole thing so then but if you go to channels right here they actually have a lot of other channels listed that you might want to subscribe to so this is one for example that i subs i subscribed to this one is called abode and when you click on abode it is all of these home shows so, for example, this is one that I watched last night, um, and I can't even think of the name of the show. I have watched the show in the past, The Unsellables, that's what it's called. It's called Unsellables, and it's somebody that's trying to sell their house. I won't play their video, but it's somebody that's trying to sell their house, and they can't sell their house for one reason or another. And so, um, there are a lot of those. And I guess they didn't want to use the name Unsellables right here on the title. I don't know why they didn't put it in the title. But there's all kinds. If you're interested in home shows, Abode will be for you. And then, um, if you're interested in real crime, they have real crime, uh, real stories. Um, what was another one? There was something else. Real Families. So, if you click on Real Families... Um, it has the, um, Emma Willis, if you ever watched Big Brother with Emma Willis, uh, she was the host. Um, it has her on there with her, um, she did a stint as like a, uh, a midwife 
in a hospital. And so all of these with babies and stuff like that have Emma Willis, which I really like her. Um, what is this? Absolute documentaries. Oh, now, okay, I'll probably subscribe to this one, too, because it has, like, Britain's Biggest Hoarders, which I've seen a lot of those, but I like the hoarder shows. I don't like it so much when they're the hoarding pets. I just don't like that because I think it's um, uh, mean to the pets, uh, but they don't have a lot of videos on here, but that could be a good one, too. Um, but there's just lots of different things on here that I wanted to show you um, just in case you're always looking for like real TV shows on YouTube. A show that Kevin and I just finished watching, as did my sister, um, it was called Rehab Addict Rescue. And this is Nicole Curtis and she absolutely loves old houses. She rescues a lot of old houses, primarily in, I believe she owns homes in Minnesota, but mainly in Michigan, specifically Detroit, Michigan. So her whole goal, her whole aim is to save these houses from being torn down. And she's like, you know, it, it really, it can't be in bad enough shape to tear it down, period. It's always uh, salvageable. So the difference between the Rehab Addict Rescue, it was, I liked it more than these that I'm showing you um, because each show was a different house, which I really, really liked. But my sister was looking for, she said, I have to find more of those shows. She said, because I really like them. So I did a search on YouTube and Rehab Addict, if you uh, type in Rehab Addict, they have all of these full episodes. So I uh, copied and pasted the link to Jennifer in a message on Facebook. And uh, so now she will be working her way through all of these. Uh, but um, she is, it, she's very fun to watch because she does love old houses. I heard some exciting news a few days ago, and that is that we are getting a Bucky's in Kentucky. Yay! So if you don't know what Bucky's is, then go Google it. Um, what it looks like to me, the only reason I even knew about Bucky's was because I have a friend named Eric, and he lives in Texas. So years ago, Eric sent us some stuff from Bucky's, and we reviewed it for the channel. But I had never heard of Bucky's, and then it's like, okay, this is a place that if I ever go to Texas, I'm gonna have to go to Bucky's. So there's just certain things that Texas has that I think sounds amazing. Bucky's was one of them, and then HEB and Whataburger. Uh, those are all places that it's like, okay, if we had those here, I would totally go there, or um. Um, I would visit, when I visit in Texas, uh, visit Texas, I would love to go visit those places. So, I, it's, it, from what I can tell, it's like a, um, it looks kind of like a truck stop kind of place, but it looks like, it's like a great big store on the inside, and they have their own stuff, they have their own food, and the Bucky's that we're going to have is going to be in Richmond, which is not that far away from us. So I am super, super, super excited, and you betcha we will be going there. Now, they don't have a date. There's no set date um, that uh, they're going to open or anything like that, but I am excited, and you can bet uh, when we go, I am sure I'll do a video. Um, but it got me to thinking, with Bucky's coming here, what else would I like to see come here? Um, H-E-B. <laughs> H-E-B is a store that um, is located in Texas, and people have said it is cheaper than Walmart. So, you know Walmart for having cheap prices? H-E-B is supposed to be cheaper. And H-E-B has deals all the time that Walmart doesn't have, that no stores around here have. So, like, I watch grocery hauls from people who go to H-E-B, and they're like... 
well, I bought these chips, and since I bought these chips, I got this whole jar of mayonnaise for free. You know, they have deals like that all the time. And sometimes it's like, yeah, but that's not good, because it seems like you get a lot of stuff like you don't need. Like, if I uh, buy this, if I buy this head of lettuce, I might get a package of cookies for free. <laughs> you know, it's not really that way, but still, they do give you a lot of stuff free. But I'm thinking, you know what? If you don't want to eat that stuff, though, you're still getting it free. You could donate it. Just donate it. Give it to somebody else in the family or donate it. Sirens, of course. Every day. Every day. Um... But, you know, just because you get it for free doesn't mean you have to eat it. You could give it away. So, I do think it's awesome that they do that. So, I would like to see, um, now that we're getting Bucky's, I would like to see um, H-E-B come. Um, then, I would like to see there's a more expensive store. And so, where H-E-B is supposed to be really, really cheap, there's a more expensive store called Publix. And Publix... Um, we don't have any, we, I've never been in one, although thanks to some of you, we have reviewed a bunch of their stuff, um, but they are an expensive store, and I have heard people on YouTube talk about Publix, so, like, they've talked about how, like, eggs are, like, three times as much at Publix, milk is, like, three times as much at Publix as it is at, like, someplace like Walmart, so, but... Um, I would still like to see Publix in the Bluegrass State. I'd like to see Publix here because uh, we do shop at places like uh, the Fresh Market, which is very expensive. Uh, we shop at uh, Whole Foods, which is very expensive. We don't shop at those places all the time, and we certainly don't buy groceries for the week at those places. But we do go there when we're looking for something different, and that's what I'm thinking Publix would be for me, too. Although... I really do like, like, they have bars and stuff like that that I think are delicious. And, um, honestly, they're probably just as expensive as, as name brand. Uh, but I like them enough to where I would shop there. And I've heard that they have, like, the best sandwiches. So, um, this is all coming from people on YouTube that I'll listen to. That, um, if you want, like, if you're in Florida and you want a really good sub sandwich, go to Publix, because Publix is supposed to have the best sub sandwiches. Um, now, speaking, uh, besides stores that I would like to see come here, um, I was thinking, okay, what is a restaurant I would like to see um, come? I would like to see an Earl of Sandwich here. So, I know they have an Earl of Sandwich. There was one, it used to be called Downtown Disney. I don't remember what they call it now. At Walt Disney World in Orlando, um, but Earl of Sandwich is some place that we have to eat every time we go there because the sandwiches are so good. And I know they have, they used to have one. Of course, we haven't been to Las Vegas since 2012, so it's been a long time ago. But when we were in Las Vegas, they did have an Earl of Sandwich there. Um, but Earl of Sandwich is just another one of those places. It's like, okay, if you could see like a fast food type restaurant come, not sit down, you know, fancy food, Earl of Sandwich would be the one that I would choose. I just, they're just so very, very good. Very good sandwiches. Um, anyway, this is, I'm going to wrap up the vlog for the week now. Um, Kevin and I really haven't watched a lot of TV um, this week. We've watched some, but not a lot. He is working on a game um, he and Andrew have been playing a game together, and so he's working his way through that. And um, Andrew's had a little bit of free time at night, and so instead of watching TV, Kevin has been getting on the computer and playing that game with Andrew, and they're really enjoying it. Um, but we did get the opportunity to watch um, The Last Blockbuster, and it is a documentary on Netflix and if you don't know, there is actually a Blockbuster open, and it is in Bend, Oregon. So, Kevin was thinking, oh, it's in Alaska. Well, there were like 
four, three or four blockbusters open, and all the other ones were in Alaska, but then those closed, and now the only one open is in Bend, Oregon, and um, I truly think they they have to stay open because people are going there for like nostalgia or something. Because I mean, we don't even own we don't even own a DVD player anymore. Um, Ashley owns a DVD player because. When she, I think we, Kevin said we bought her one. So, for Easter, I gave her a couple of DVDs. Um, but we don't even own a DVD player. So, I think a lot of people, too, make a, a, the pilgrimage. They travel to Oregon. And it's just so that they can relive something from the past. And I told Kevin, I said, wouldn't it be cool if you could look at the records and see what was the last DVD you ever rented from the video store? I don't even have a clue. I don't have a clue because I don't remember. If I could remember the date, like the, what year the video store closed in Winchester, the last video store we had was... Um, I thought it was Hollywood video. But anyway, I don't remember what year it closed. So, because if I remembered what year it closed, maybe I could look up what was popular at that time and just just kind of picture it in my mind, the, the fronts of the videos that were on the shelf. But right now, I can't, I can't even remember anything that... Uh, I can't remember any movie that... The, uh, that it would have been that we would have rented. It would be interesting to know, though, what was the last DVD you rented. Of course, not many people are going to remember that uh, because it's been so long ago. Um, it seems like forever ago that we had that Hollywood video. And now there's a uh, tire discounter. That's what's sitting in the place. So it was a Taco Bell and a Hollywood video. And now where that Hollywood video was, it was a tire discounter. And I couldn't even tell you, did they knock it down and rebuild Tire Discounter? Or did they turn that building into a Tire Discounter? I don't even remember. I just know it's in the same place. So, I just, it was a good, if you grew up going to video stores, then you would probably enjoy it. It's nothing heavy. It's, um... You know, it's uh, it kind of gives you a break watching something um, that's not heavy. It's not a drama. It's not a comedy. It's just a uh, even killed documentary throughout the whole thing. But I do think it's worth watching if you went to the video store. So um, I think I already told you all I didn't get any boxes. I'm still going to the PO box. We went to the PO box today. I'm expecting like I know boxes from like three different people. None of them, none of them came. So, um, but the mail is, for some reason, it's running slow. Um, and I told, uh, Kevin told me a few days ago, he said uh, there was some kind of news report that the, they want to close a bunch of the post offices. It's like, that makes no sense to me at all. They're getting all this business and we're not even getting the mail like on time when we should. Why in the world are they thinking about closing post offices and putting people out of work when we can't get it right now? I mean, I, I don't understand that at all, how that works. Um, but anyway, we'll hope for the best that we'll get it next week. And I hope you all have an excellent week and thanks for watching.